Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barnon11970, and as always, I thank you guys for viewing my channel. I got a little interview I want to do right now about my Oregon pyramids. I know there are plenty of people out there that have never heard of them before, and when there's something new that people don't know about, uh, they will have reserves for them. They'll be very cautious about these kind of things. And um, on the line I have, um, we're just going to use her first name. Her name is Ashley. And of course, you know, I'm not going to post your number or anything like that. I have her on speakerphone. A uh, couple of months ago, she actually ordered some of my Oregon pyramids. So first of all, Ashley, I wanted to say hello to you. Say hi to everybody. Hey, everyone. All right, great. Uh, and also, you have your, is it your fiancé or boyfriend or how do you categorize him at this point? You said fiancé? Okay, and that's Mike on the f and it's also Mike, correct? Yeah. Uh, Mike, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Dude, I can't complain. Now, um, Ashley, you actually saw some of my Oregon pyramids on my website, and you ordered a couple of them, um, well, a couple of months ago? Yeah, I think I was around when we came this. Alright. Okay, and you said you wanted specific... Uh, reasons for these type of Oregon pyramids. Can you explain what it was that you asked me to have uh, made for you? Uh, yes. Um, I have uh, quite a few homes on, um, but one in particular, I've been trying to get a pyramid since I was in college, and I was trying to conceive a baby for quite some time, and um, I was told I have a very, very highly uh, unlikely chance to get pregnant. Um, I have a genetic condition I got from my mom, which is uh, PCOS and also endo, and it took her 10 years to conceive me. And uh, I was told by the doctors that you are going to need extensive fertility treatment, um, and, you know, pray to God that it works, because you're in one of those brackets that's going to be hard for you to get pregnant. Okay. And, yeah. And how long were you trying to have a baby? Um, on and off because I was just, um, um, upset when I didn't get a positive, so on and off about nine months. Okay, and no results. And then one of the pyramids you asked me to make for you had to do with, you wanted it with the, um, fertility, is that correct? Oh, yeah, definitely, that's correct. And what news do you have to tell everybody? That's awesome. Now, do you think the pyramid had anything to do with it? Because as far as um, did the doctors say that you have no chance, a little chance, or what did the doctors say when they found out you were pregnant? Um, she said that this is a miracle, um, that she did not have So did you, what did you what did you say to them when they asked how did you manage to get pregnant when they thought you really could not be able to conceive? Now, for the record, do you know me outside of this situation? In other words, are we friends or anything like that as far as if we've ever met or anything like that? Okay, so I want people to know that this is not like I have some friend just making a statement. Um, how did you hear about my Facebook channel with the Oregon Pyramids? Uh, I found your uh, Facebook channel, um, I think, through your YouTube channel, and I had found your YouTube channel um, first because I'm a silver and gold collector myself, so I was into that. I kept you know, following you because you have great advice. You seem to be on top of it, and then you started doing the organs, and it kind of goes along with what I believe in. 
as well. And I was like, hmm, maybe this is telling me something. Maybe this is the thing I've been looking for all along. And I, you know, so I placed an order when I got some money for the fraternity. And not only that, my headaches as well. And my headaches have completely decreased as well with those. Oh, that's right. I forgot I made that one specifically for your um, for your headaches as well. Now, um, one of the things that um, people that may be watching this, I get a lot of comments from people saying they're skeptical, skeptical about this kind of stuff, saying that, you know, it's a bunch of rocks and it's me being a snake oil salesman or anything like that. What would you want to say to somebody who's never heard of this stuff as concerning when it comes to crystal stones and organ pyramids? What would you want to give tell them? Excellent. And what does your husband or future husband have to say about this? What is his opinion? Does he believe that the pyramids had anything to do with it? Or do you think that's just potluck? What's his opinion? I'm, I, I want to say that I am very happy to hear this from you guys, and congratulations. And I really appreciate you guys uh, taking this time to let people know that, you know, we can't guarantee everything in life, but when you look at stuff like this, the possibility is always there. And when you look at nature, it shows time and time again that nature can do miracles. And uh, I really appreciate you guys telling your story, and I want you to keep me um, totally updated on this. And... Um, let us know what the doctors say, and we want you to have a happy, healthy baby, so I'm so glad to hear this. And would you recommend those to people that are skeptical? Would you would you recommend that somebody try something like that for themselves to see the difference? Yes. Oh. Yes. Great. Try it. And if it's not for you, then there's something out there that is. But I would highly recommend that you try it. Because it's very important to understand that there's a difference between something positive to change your life and another positive way. Yeah, it's changed. Something, whether it's minor or major. Yeah, and it's changed and my life as well. I agree. Uh, well, I want to thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this interview. Um, I'm going to pause the video in a second, but stay on the line. I'll keep talking to you. And again, that's Mike. And I, I want to thank both of you for doing this for me and all my best. All right, Ashley and Mike. Thank you.